Welcome back to another video, guys. I got this uh, bedside all the way out. I was kind of getting rid of some of this rust. Got the new fender arch in. Um, that way I can start kind of shaping this back together. I lined up the new panel and it, and it lined up pretty good. I noticed while I was in here, the floor, rift floor pans I have, floor pans I have, the sides have a 90 on it uh, where you spot weld it and I realized it's on the inside of here. Those are those spot welds go to the floor pan. As much as I want to get this bedside on, I'm just gonna finish ripping this one off and then that way I can do these floor pans the right way um, and then put those bedsides on. I could be going crazy, but it seems like these lights are getting dimmer and dimmer all the time. Um, anyways, so the sides all torn apart. Been drilling out my floor pan here. Got this side out. Um, I'm probably gonna do next, <clears throat> as I'm like taking this all apart, is I'm gonna drop the tank, finally, needs to be done. Shouldn't have even done what I've done so far without dropping that tank, but. So I pulled this brace out because it was so rotted around where it mounted in the cab. And I also figured out it's actually pretty easy to put back in if I take it out. So it literally just butts up against the back of the fender well right here. So this will actually give me a chance to take it out, get all this scaling off of here, clean it up, um, paint it. Then I'll mount it to that um, floor pan before I put the floor pan back in. And that way I can get to all these areas that otherwise would not have been able to get to. So now I can clean all that up real good, get some um, chassis paint in there, and then mount it all back up. I'm about to test fit the uh, floor pan in here, make sure everything lines up. Uh, it's a little weird, this whole rear floor section. I would have a tripod set up right now filming all this, but it fell over and broke and knock down my camera so I'm kind of down a tripod right now but I want to keep hustling so all right guys I was having some camera issues I think it's fixed now so the uh, filming was kind of sparse on this but I got the inside of this all coated um, keep it all protected I was gonna dynamat in here but um, this we're getting rhino liner in the whole inside of the cab so that'll take care of the uh, sound carry through there I'm gonna finish uh, welding this up to this because I, I had to mock up my uh, bedside now that I know that this fender gap filler is in the right spot I'm gonna finish sealing it up welding it all the way through I'll hit some that with some chassis paint get that all sealed up and then I'm gonna throw this bedside on I'm pretty stoked for it I, I wasn't go right for it but I made myself stop because I had a spot down here um, that was all rotted out and I had cut it out before and I knew I needed to fill it in um, but I was being kind of impatient. So that's all cut out and filled in, coated. So uh, maybe when I get to the other side, I'll have a new tripod to set up and do like a time lapse of me uh, cleaning this up and putting the bedside on. All right, guys, thank you so much for tuning in this video. I really appreciate everyone coming back, all the new people. Um, keep subscribing, keep, keep clicking the uh, thumbs up button. We made some really good progress. Um, the rear floors are in. I guess I kind of skirted over that. Yeah, we got rear floors. I welded a lot of the stuff from down below. It seemed like it held a lot better than the tacks, which that was due to the fact that I was using an old 10-year-old non-inverter welder. I just picked up this uh, main Oxy brand. I have a whole video on that. This thing has been awesome. This changed my welding. But um, anyway, rear floors are in. Front floors are in. Front rockers. This bedside's on. Um, three quarters of the way tacked. I didn't want to... Say, for some reason, I forgot something. I had to pull these off. Um, I'm going to be able to cut, you know, not so many welds. But, yeah, this is all in. The um, bedside's a lot quieter now with that Dynamat in there. Super happy I took the time to do that. 
Uh, this make it sound a lot better when it's all done. Uh, partially tacked up right here. There's a little bit of a trick. I was able to get a tack in here and then reach up inside and get some more from underneath um, to get this rear taillight housing on. But yeah, guys, I mean, this is just a monumental place for me anyways with the Scout Builders having this bedside on and having no rot left on this vehicle. It's pretty, uh, pretty satisfying. The only rod I have left I gotta take care of is this little spot right here. That'll be easy. I'm gonna take the um, fuel neck support bracket out. That way I can clean behind that some metal etching primer and get some uh, chassis coating on the inside of this bedside like I did on that one. But yeah, guys, uh, please keep liking the videos, keep subscribing, keep commenting. Um, I'm gonna keep keep plugging along here.